Hey there, happy Friday. Welcome to The Final Wager. I'm Keith Williams, and for whatever reason, as I often do on Fridays, I watch this one on the treadmill. So, you know that someone's going to screw up, and uh, it's a double lock situation. Very hard to screw this one up, but Chris decided to go for the 20000 even, and in the process risked losing $1,000 of real cold hard cash. I don't know why you do that, but didn't matter in the end. I have to apologize to Alex, I did not give him, this Alex here, Jacob, did not give him the benefit of the doubt. After Double Jeopardy, I texted a few people, texting and running on the treadmill is really smart. Don't text and walk. The texting on the treadmill is fun, because if you fall, you're the only one getting hurt. I said, hey, this is, some, is this just me, or is this some of the most egregious stalling you've ever seen? Taking forever to make that daily double wager, and kind of picking the category really slowly, and sometimes reaching around and scratching his back. And they were like, dude, you're an idiot. This guy is nervous as hell. Major props to Alex for fighting through that. And it was just confirmed with his final Jeopardy response. I have no doubt that he knew rescued and he could figure it out if he had to. But he probably just said, okay, I got this locked up. I'm just going to sit here and breathe for 30 seconds and enjoy the win. Maybe I'm wrong, but you know, having known him from J-Board... I'm going to guess that he knew that. But it doesn't matter, he wagered zero, and he's coming back on Monday. He gets a little break, and uh, we'll see what he does then. I hope you have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you then, too, on the final wager.